everyone and happy Friday. I'm Carrie Tucker and I'm Tara Undershoots and we are Realtors with Century 21 Fusion in Saskatoon and we're back with another Friday Five. Yay. So what we want to know is are you as obsessed with Marie Kondo like we are? This oh little Japanese. Lady. She's, She's so, so adorable. Sweet. Yes. She wrote a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and now there's a Netflix series or yeah series yep. um, that is just awesome. It's called Tidying Up and it's based on the book and we absolutely love it. So yeah. we've been watching, I know you guys have been watching, We've everywhere we go people are talking about this show mm -hmm. and it's awesome. So mm -hmm. we wanted to um, talk about five things that we learned from Marie Kondo. Yeah, okay, so number one thing that Marie has taught us is to clean by category instead of room. So she breaks it down into five categories and it's important to stick to the categories and in this order. So number one is clothes and then books, paper, kimono and under kimono is basically everything else so um, kitchen bathroom garage etc everything else um, to go through and then the fifth category is sentimental items and I think she does it this way so that by the time you get to the sentimental category you're that pro. yeah you're a pro at <laughs> finding out if you're gonna keep it or not um, it, and then it uh, you're in the zone right so you've already gone through everything else so it's a little bit easier to, to get through so that was number one yes so number two is letting go of items. So obviously when you're going through and tidying up, you're going to um, downsize the amount of things you have in your house. And so in order to let go of things, you basically hold it in mm -hmm. your hands and decide if it sparks joy for you. Yep, just yep. this is what she literally does. Like hold <laughs> on to it. Does this spark Does joy? Does that spark joy? Yeah. And if not, then you get rid of it. Yes. Yeah. So then you're going to make your piles of things to get rid of and donate and all of that kind of stuff. And if it doesn't spark joy and you're going to get rid of it, then you express gratitude for it. You say, thank you for what you did yeah. provide for me um, when I loved you and needed you or whatever. And, and by expressing some gratitude, it's easier to You don't feel like guilty. You yeah. don't feel guilty for yeah, getting rid of it. You don't feel like you're just trashing something. Yeah. So... so. Okay, number three thing that we've learned from Marie is folding and storing of items. So this is mind blowing. Okay, so <laughs> this is the thing that I just love the most. <laughs> when I saw how she dealt with t-shirts in drawers, I was just like, that makes so much sense. So instead of having them folded on top of each other, you only see the ones on top and then you have to rifle through everything to find what you're looking for. So instead, she has a very particular way on how to fold it and you'll have to watch that on the show. But then when she stores it in the drawer, you can see all of the shirts. So then you're not rifling. It's, it's, it's like a file folder. It's like, yes, thank you. It is like a file folder. Yeah. So that was so amazing. She also applies that concept to linens as well. So when you're in your closet with your towels or your sheets and everything, fold them in a way that you can see everything. Don't have things tucked behind. And if you find that there are items that you could tuck stuff behind, she says to roll them up like that instead. So brilliant. Love this it. is another way if you put your towels in a drawer, Fold them like the t-shirts so that you can see everything. It, it just, it's just so smart. <laughs> <laughs> you just really love that one. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when you have less things, it's way easier to do that. And she also says pack that way too in your suitcase. Ooh, good to it know. It takes up way less room in your good suitcase. Good to know. Yep. So number four is tidying with your family. So she addresses this <laughs> with it. We've seen it a couple of times. And one of the biggest things is that when you've assigned people a room or if a kid is doing their room or their clothes and their toys and things like that, uh, if they are deciding that something sparks joy for them, you can't say that it doesn't, Tara. <laughs> I know. As I know. much as you want to have control over the entire situation, you have to appreciate and understand and respect that yeah. um, other people have their opinions about their own stuff and what they want to keep or not. So keep. when you mean when they're going through their drawer of t-shirts and they're picking up a t-shirt that they've had for 20 years and if they claim it sparks joy, I should be you okay with that. Zip it. Which I know it doesn't because <laughs> you haven't looked at it for I'm getting carried away. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and Darcy. <laughs> oh Darcy. <laughs> we love you. Uh. Funny. Okay, yeah. the number five thing that we've learned from Marie is, and this is profound, um, is expressing gratitude to your home. So what has your home provided for you and your family over the years, and are you doing it justice? Mm -hmm. So you think about it, if you've been in there for a while, and, and everything that your home has given you, the shelter, the good times, the memories, and then you see it in such disarray, are you doing your house justice? When you think of it as an entity, it's, it's profound, this, this whole concept. So that one was one of the biggest things we pulled away, besides the shirt folding. 
<laughs> so I really yeah. think it is it's amazing to actually think of your house like that and then to be thankful for it and treat it like that right and once you've done it it's yeah. easy to keep Maintain. up with it because yeah. and then I think also then when you're out shopping or something like that you make it a lot easier to not bring home a bunch of stuff that you yeah. don't need all the time that's true right yeah very true that's in your head of, mm -hmm. does it spark joy yeah so we love this because we talk a lot to people about getting ready to list their homes and what should I do and um, you know see people trying to organize things all the time and and even when we're out showing houses and we see a really nicely organized linen closet yeah. or like a pantry that's you know beautifully um, stacked and yeah and uh, not people overly cluttered. Comment. People always comment and it sparks joy for them. So. Your organized yeah. pantry could spark joy for someone in the future. Right. <laughs> and so imagine how much it would spark joy for yourself if you if, if you look at it every day. Yeah. yeah. So we we love it. So I think it's a it's a you know good time of year to do these kinds of things because we're kind of stuck in the house a lot. And um, then when you go to do spring cleaning, you've got rid of so much stuff. And I heard uh, one person commented on our Instagram post that the garage sales are going to be epic <laughs> this year because That's of everybody true. tidying it's, up. It's a it's a phenomenon that's catching on and yeah, I mean I, I, I saw someone on Facebook also try to sell something on a buy and sell and they said in their post it's just not sparking joy for me anymore <laughs> so it's it's really catching on so I yeah. recommend highly recommend watching it yeah for sure okay so that's our Friday five thanks for tuning in everyone we hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week sounds good bye, bye. check out our Instagram oh. Carrie and Tara C21 same name um, we put stories and lots of fun things on there too check us out there all right guys take care have bye bye a great weekend